alive. <laughs> Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption. Okay, we're good. I uh, I didn't stream this weekend. I was supposed to, but uh, events conspired to keep me from doing so. So here it is, Sunday night, 11:15. Ain't got work tomorrow, so we are looking to stream for a few hours. I would like to really put a dent in the north. We're in the final stanza of this. Well, yeah, I guess this is the final stanza. You would consider later parts to be the epilogue. See if we can refill our guns. And Constable. Oh yes, I know about you. I do. No cards tonight, boys. I got people to kill. Unless of course it's too late at night and I can't just kill people. Alright, the only mission we have is this guy and we've got a yellow X, that is a good sign. Oh, Xavier. Shit. Come in, come in, and shut the door. What's going on? You leaving? Yes, sir. Yes, I am, sir. You know, you know the thing, the thing that is vital, without which scholarship cannot proceed, sir. Your brains? No, I'm not having a bullet in your flipping neck, sir. I'm not cut out for this. No, I'm not cut out for this at all. <laughs> Nope. They're fucking savages! Savages! I think we all are. Not me, sir. I'm from Connecticut. I'm a <laughs> Gale. I write books. I do not deserve to die out here. Where's my tincture? Oh, yes. Yeah, this guy is straight out of fucking evil within. <sighs> you okay, Professor? I am now. Oh, dandy, sir. Just dandy. I'm not sure you should be self-medicating, sir. Is that you, John? Hello, Dutch. Dutch, what the fuck are you doing? I think that's what they call two for the price of one out here in this wonderful place. Maybe so, Dutch. You and, and, and your friend there, the professor? We're gonna kill the both of you. Dutch, you kinda look like the comedian, and he's the first guy to die in Watchmen. I don't know. Sport, I guess. Fair enough. Uh, why don't I come out there? We fight. Let the professor go and send your boys back to their families. Well, that, that sounds like a beautiful plan, John. From a beautiful oh, mind. My boys here, they already lost their families a long time ago. We aren't thieves, John. <laughs> We're fighting for something uh, a bit like you. Only Get we're down, Professor. For an idea, not just for ourselves. That's beautiful, Dutch. Dutch, have you Surely changed your you shirt since I last saw you? Because you stink. I was. Now, would you kindly send that academic out here so we can show him what we really think about the art of anthropology? Please, sir, what are we going to do? I'm gonna hand you over to him and watch him tear you limb from limb. What? I'm just kidding. We're gonna <laughs> run across the rooftops. <laughs> John Marston, comedian. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. We're still here. Come on. <laughs> oh, dear God. Ew, Dom DeLuise, no! <laughs> Hey, sir. Uh, madam. Look here, sir. What is the meaning of this, this outrage? You two stay down and shut up. Up, up and away. He 
he can climb pretty well for a guy who just shot himself up with fucking morphine. You know, you're just too darn loud. Yeah, no kidding. I couldn't make him stop choking you. It was weird. <laughs> oh, he sounds like C-3PO. <laughs> oh, oh, R2. We're surrounded by snipers. God damn it. I hate this sniper shot so much. I'm dying. Like, you see, I'm lined up here. So I should just... See? Okay, yeah. I, I have to stop dying for a moment. Are you supposed to be oh, there's his hat. Don't mind me, sir. See if I can pick him off. Oh, that's gonna leave a mark. All right, uh, let's get over here next. Okay. He stayed alive for a while. He had a hearty, uh, will to live. Uh-huh. Dying. I blew that fucker's elbow to Kingdom Come and he's still alive. Where's the closest guy? I'll shoot you in a minute, Google. Jesus Christ, these guys. They don't fucking miss. It's annoying. I mean, granted, I will marine my health back, so it's not that big of a deal, but fuck me. Huh, I never noticed the sight gets white when I'm uh, on target. Did you give up, sir? Come on then, let's make a break for it. Oh, all you! I believe we have to run. <laughs> oh, here, let me loot this guy. Sir, I'm looting the dead. The horses should be in an alleyway down here. Unbelievable. Oh. What? Did, did he just fall down here? Jesus. Oh, no, there's a ladder. <laughs> Nerf. Hey, horse, what you doing? Come on. Let's get the hell out of Blackwater. To the station! I'm not staying in this place a minute longer! Sorry, I just broke somebody's neck. Gone more horribly wrong. At least you got some good material for your next book. You know, I dreamt of documenting the last days of the old west. The romance, the honor, the new What about the last days of you? <laughs> killing each other. It always was, Professor. And the old west ain't quite dead yet. Oh, I know, Mr. Marston. Believe me, I know. That should mark the beginning of guys trying to kill us again. This is insanity! Inconceivable! <laughs> and there they are. No! Here they come again! God damn it! God damn it, I gotta catch up to them. And I'm dying. John, you stink on ice tonight. Are those assholes still behind me? Go. 
Oh boy, they're ahead of me. Goddamn horse teleporters. Um, John, are you talking to the dead guy? Here we are! Finally! A one-way ticket to civilization, please! <laughs> All the best, sir! Spare me some heroin, Professor? Just a little? Just a little bump? Uh, my research is complete! Much as I thought, there's no civilizing this savage land. I could have told you that for nothing. Ah, but they'll give me a prize in New Haven for this. <laughs> well, they bloody better. Well, goodbye, Mr. Marston. See you in the zombie DLC and all. <laughs> Straighten out your bow tie, you look ridiculous. So long, Professor. So long, sir. And that is the end of the McDougal arc. I'm Hal Pollard. How do you do, Mr. Martin? There is a store right here, I think. Is that a new newspaper that I'm not going to read? That is most lovely. Let's see, what have I got? <laughs> Bank robbery foiled by government agents, okay. Massacre at the wreck of the serendipity, that's me. <laughs> Um. Alrighty. Bye. Wait, I missed a paper? God damn. I sincerely thank you. Alright, there is a store here, I think. Oh, I mean, they're not open because it's like four in the morning. Lazy fucks. All right. Let's whistle up a horse and we got a G-Man to visit. Oh, I hitched you. That's right. My bad. Let's go. Look out, mister. <laughs> Look out, mister. I almost ran you over. All right. Um... Let's see what's next. Oh, hey, God. Oh, hi, God. <laughs> you know me, you're my favorite deity. Hi. <laughs> yeah, I, it's been too long since I didn't tell me why so impressions. <laughs> It's a beautiful morning. It's me, Margaret. <laughs> um, I am not certain of that reference. Oh, hello, God. It's me, Margaret. I'm an idiot. Sorry. Stop typing. I got it. <laughs> I'm doing the room. You're doing legitimate theater. <laughs> Are you there, God? <laughs> it's me, John Marston. <laughs>
This son of a bitch isn't awake yet. Come back between 7 a.m. It has got to be close to... Yeah, it's... It's 6.40, you shitheads. I always wanted to shoot this dog. Deadpool? Morning, ma'am. Wow, she blended in so well, I don't know, I didn't completely see her <laughs> sitting there. <laughs> Motherfucking Deadpool. I want to fucking shoot that cricket. As soon as I mosey on back there, we should be fine. Uh, Ma'am, cigarettes are bad for you. Hey, horse. <laughs> the money shot. Ah, Deadpool. Maybe I'll watch that tonight. What do you want, Marston? My family. I've done what you asked. No, you haven't. This is the land of opportunity, and I gave you the opportunity to save your family, and you failed. How could I possibly reward you? Marston, you're a public menace. We should have had you killed. Should you? I wish you had. But since you didn't, Where's my family? Oh, spare me the noble savage fall on the sword tripe, will you, oh boy? It's nauseating. You don't wish to be dead. You're an insignificant creature desperately clinging on to life like the rest of the scum in this town. Yeah, I know, it's tough. You like Dutch. He's a charming fellow. He makes sense. He's like one of those nature writers from back east. Only he takes things a tiny little step too far. By murdering. A now whole lot. Love in the flowers and the animals and the harmony between man and beast. <laughs> he shoots people in the head for money. Yeah, but everybody's got to have a hobby. He's a goddamn killer. Oh, is he? Is he a goddamn killer? Oh! <laughs> I'm not a great intellect, but the metaphysical leap from... Admiring the flower to shooting a man in the head because he doesn't like the flower is a leap too far. You know, you so, took the magic garden on a whole weird trip there. I know. <laughs> it's easy. <laughs> Sir, if you could See, get to the fucking we, point. Me and Archer, we're the bad guys. We enforce the rules. Now, while the rules may not be perfect. They're really not so bad. Exactly. What's the alternative? <laughs> I'll tell you what the alternative is. It's not complicated. It's about one man and his gun versus another man. <laughs> uh, well, oh. Oh, so sorry. Not it off there. But the alternative, Mr. Marston, is hell. And the way you enforce this civilization, this freedom for men to like or not like flowers, or whatever in God's name you were just talking about, <laughs> is to kidnap a man's wife and son? Well, I know there's contradictions. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> As I said, I'm not a great intellect. I'm just a fucking hypocrite. Yeah. <laughs> After the debacle with the army and the bank, we have to put Mr. Vanderlyn to rest ourselves. Will you help us? Do I get my fucking family? Now that you mention it, no. Then what was that pretty speech in Ada? Don't rightly know, but it sure felt good saying it. <laughs> yeah, something tells me you write shit like that at night and jerk off.
<laughs> what the fuck? Would the A-Team show up? <laughs> da, 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 da. Da, da, da. I ain't going on no plane, Hannibal. <laughs> Wouldn't dream of it, B.A. Why don't you have this glass of milk and we'll talk about it. <laughs> keep your finger off that trigger until we get out of Blackwater. Oh, quick! Take a look at this thing! Have you seen this? It's coming down on the back In all my born days, I never seen this. <laughs> I am dragging. <sighs> Michael Bay presents Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. progress the past few years. Uh, guys, so tanks have been invented by now. <laughs> you should see what they're working on in Virginia. Soon there will be no war we can't win. The Army has made camp a little way outside town. They put word out a large cache of ammunition and food is stored there. Vandalin's gang needs constant supplies, so that should be enough to draw them in. Kind of like the Persian Army in 300. You hear me, Marston? I thought you were talking to boredom. I thought he was talking to boredom. Here they come! Look, they brought the machine gun! Oh god! <laughs> Don't think I should point the machine gun at the soldiers? What's the word, Captain? We spotted one of Dutch's men. I had to burnish the word. I think he took the bait. <laughs> Let's get in position then. Have your men ready to run them down if you have to. The bird, bird, bird. The bird is the word. Are you ready to finish this, Mr. Marston? I guess so. I suck on a machine gun, though. Everybody stay alert. All right, when the first guy gets taken down by the machine gun, shouldn't the rest of them go, hey, they got a fucking machine gun, and run away? There they are! Open fire! This is getting intense! Who wants to get down? That's good, boys. Line up for me. Thanks. Thanks a bunch. Wait, you actually put munitions here, you idiots? Oh, I just killed that horse super hard. Oh, you're shitting me. <laughs> Is everybody else hearing this? Sorry for people with...